Hey guys, it's Keith, how are you? So, you went to the Toyota Lexus dealer about your Sirius XM, and they told you that they had to install it, and it was gonna cost seven or eight hundred dollars. Then you went to your local stereo shop and asked them the same question, and they quoted you something similar, five hundred to seven hundred dollars. And then you asked them the same question that I asked them, which is, so you're telling me there is no way that I can modify this stereo myself for Sirius XM? And they said, that's correct, sir. There is no way you can do it yourself. Well, what's this? It's Sirius XM in my Lexus RX350. Jump on in and I'll show you what I did. So I thought I would start by telling you how I got to this point in using this particular kit and modules I'm going to show you and what I went through before that as well as also tell you that this is not a install video as far as ripping out the dash and showing you how to pull out the stereo and make the connections. There are plenty of YouTube videos on how to pull this out. It's not too difficult actually um, and so it will just save time to not have to do that. We can focus on the more important stuff because honestly I would have absolutely killed to have had a video like this when I did this install because there was nothing on the internet and there really is surprisingly still almost nothing as far as videos that I could find on installing Sirius XM in a vehicle like this which is supposedly satellite ready, um, Sirius XM ready actually. This video is broken down into two options or scenarios. The first one is good to watch because it shows what happens if you try to install an aftermarket stereo unit that is already set up for Sirius XM, but the problems and issues that creates on some vehicles. Then the second option that starts at about 4 minutes 50 seconds in this video is using the modules which allow you to keep the factory set up and dash. I will post some links in the YouTube description box for the modules. So let's go into some details about what happened. So I actually did buy this vehicle from a Lexus dealer. I did buy it used. And they told me that, yeah, it's ready to go. You just call Sirius XM and set up your account and press this button and you're good to go. And as you probably found by now, that, that is totally not true. Um, all this means is that the, the radio can accept Sirius XM satellite and it's a little misleading because very misleading actually because a lot of people think oh it's ready to go well it's not and Lexus tells you it's a pretty expensive install and that they're the only ones that can do it um, or that you know they should do it and that if you go to a stereo shop they're going to modify everything so what I did at first is I decided to do what the stereo shop was going to do because I sure wasn't going to pay Lexus to do it and I wasn't going to pay 700 bucks for the stereo shop. So I went and got the whole Kenwood unit. I got the aftermarket um, dash kit which basically replaces all of this because when you have the Kenwood unit or whatever unit you're going to get it has the seek and scan and all that kind of stuff built in. Um, well I didn't want to lose the disc changer because if I would have done that I would have lose, lost the disc changer. I did try it though because I wanted to see if it would work and it seemed like the only option. Well I got the the kit and I got the Kenwood in and everything um, seemed to work except it had taken out my climate control um, and that is because as you can tell the stereo is integrated with the climate console. So I called Crutchfield back who sold me the Kenwood and they said yeah you know there's a jumper resistor that you have to install and that you have to strip a couple wires and back in the factory harness and jump this resistor and solder it in and I thought you know what that is more hassle than I want to go through because what if something goes wrong with that what if that comes loose at some point in the next few years what if it shorts out my computer and my climate control and I was already on the fence about doing this so um, I decided to forget that unit, do some more research, and that's when I found out about the ability to keep your factory stereo with these gateways. This company is called iSimple. It is meant for Toyota Lexus. This is the ISTY12. And you can pop this open and it will tell you what vehicles 
are compatible. I don't know how well you can see that, but if you can't, there's probably, I don't know, 12, 10 to 12 Lexus models. There's the RX350, there's the RX400H. My vehicle year covers 2007 to 2009. There's several Scion models, and there's another dozen or so Toyotas. And on the Toyotas, it looks like this goes up to 2012. But what you get with this is you get this all important gateway and it comes with all the instructions that you need to connect to the back of your stereo and make Sirius XM work. Gives you a cable. Um, if you want to install um, an auxiliary port, it comes with that. The bummer with that is the auxiliary port is then hiding behind the dash unless you want the cord hanging out, which I didn't want. Um, I didn't really mess with that too much. That wasn't why I got this, but this did come with that capability and it comes with the harness. Okay, and de pretty detailed instructions. So you need this, and then you need the Sirius XM component. And I got the SXV200. And by the way, I called Sirius XM to make sure that this unit would still work because the stereo shop told me it wouldn't. And that's why you had it to go through them, that they discontinued it. And I don't know if they were lying to me or if they were just didn't know what they were talking about. Which, by the way, this is kind of a good a good little you know tip in life don't take people's words for stuff when people give you professional advice there's nothing wrong with verifying it yourself on the internet or making some phone calls because guess what a lot of times it's wrong just like the stereo shop and they're a pretty reputable shop but anyway this is the one that I got and there is a newer model of this so you should definitely check with Sirius XM to see what's compatible with your car but you know here it is 2020 I've been running this for for several years and it's still working great. So what comes with this is two components. You get the tuner, which is this device here, and that plug goes in behind your stereo. And then you get the antenna. And this antenna is mounted on the vehicle somewhere, preferably on the back of the vehicle. And so, that's it. So there's really three items. Two of them come in the Sirius XM package. And they used to sell this at Best Buy. Maybe they still do. Um, or direct from Sirius XM. And then this you get on the internet. I simple. And that's it. It works fine. Oh, by the way, um, I saw some reviews online that the audio quality is not good with this unit. That's just not true. There's no difference between the audio quality on this and your FM radio, okay? So if anything, it's a Sirius XM issue because Sirius XM does compress their music a lot because they have so many channels and they compress it down to fit in a certain broadband so they can broadcast this all over the world. Still sounds pretty good. No issues. Um, how this works is Everything, all your stereo controls are maintained with the factory buttons, which is what you want, right? You can change stations with a knob. All right? By the way, these preset buttons work. You can set presets. And it usually shows, shows the name of the song as well, or the band. Um, and you can press this text button and get more information. So channel 34, lithium, and the band is Weezer, song, Buddy Holly, all right? So, let's see if it works on other stations. Boston. Channel 25. Okay, don't look back. So, there's a few banks here, so, and it still toggles back and forth between all your other stuff that you got on here. AM, FM, your CD player. So with the satellite, there's three banks on mine. And the benefit of this, like let's say you have two or three people that drive your car. One person wants it on satellite. One, because they always want station 34. They always want, you know, 80s on 8 on. It'll sit that way until someone changes it. And so if I get in the car and I want to look at where my, I'm at, I can go to satellite 3. Okay, and then all my stations and stuff are there. Okay, I hope this has answered 
some very irritating questions that have been lingering for a while in this in the stereo community and people that own these cars thinking they're going to be all set when they buy it only to come to find out that's not the case so that's it guys that's how to get sirius xm working in your already installed sirius xm ready lexus stereo without modifying the dash or having to replace your stock stereo head unit and it's been working great for me going on three years so anyway uh, sorry i didn't do this video sooner but i hope it clears up some of the confusion thanks if i helped you please like and subscribe bye